All right, I assume it's on. Hey everyone, it's me, Xcandidensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post Nadar related videos every single day. And today's video is going to be a live stream. Um, so if you're here watching it live, ignore this part. But um, otherwise, this if you're watching this like later, it's not live anymore. It's an archived live stream. But I'm going to be opening some Barbie dolls. This isn't going to explicitly be like a Q&A one where I'm just gonna be answering questions the whole time, but it might happen occasionally. Um, so basically, hi, I'm setting up my doll room and I'll show you over there, <laughs> over yonder. Um, I'm putting my Fashion Fever dolls there, which means that I don't have room to keep them in box. And I didn't really want to keep them in box forever anyway. I was just doing it because they look so cute in there. Um, <laughs> so I thought, okay, I'm going to force myself to unbox them all because, I mean, I really, again, I really like the packaging, but I'm, there's no shortage of these in box or anything. And also I would prefer them in box. Oh uh, my God, is it still streaming? I closed the app. Um, hold on a second. I'm gonna put a comment here. Um, or how do I, shoot, I thought I could comment. I don't know if I can. Dang, okay. I wanted to put a comment saying that this wasn't explicitly a Q&A, so hopefully people aren't um, upset about it <laughs> um, if I don't get to answer every single question. Cause we're gonna be unboxing dolls. Like we're not gonna get too distracted. Um, I would consider them vintage because they're from like 20 years ago and they came out when I was a kid, so I'm insulting myself. <laughs> um, yeah, because when I was, to be fair, in the 2000s when I was a kid, 80s was considered vintage. That was 20 years ago. So fair game. Fair game. Okay, I'm really bothered by the frame rate on the camera. Sorry, it's because it's a live stream. Anyway, so two of these dolls were not ones that I bought. I bought these two and these two. This one was a gift from my P.O. box. I'm not really sure if I should say the person's name, so I'm not going to. And then this one was a gift from my friend Dean. I don't think I ever showed this one on camera because he gave her to me in person uh, when I visited him, but I'm really excited about this one because I think this is one of my like newest ones, I guess, 2007, because they stopped coming out before 2010, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I just really like Fashion Fever, so we're gonna unbox them, woohoo. Okay, uh, and Doodle, funny you should say that. <laughs> I really wanted to open this one. So I think this is my favorite one out of this set, but I might change my mind when they're out of the packaging. So this one is from the Animal Print Collection. They all do have actual like Barbie character names. Not all of them, but a lot of them do. But this one doesn't say what it is and I don't want to get it wrong. Um, so like that's Kayla and that's Barbara or Barbie, but the others don't say it. And then I think this is Summer. Yeah, so this one's Summer. So sometimes they'll tell you their names and sometimes they don't. But like, isn't she cute? I don't, Drew has freckles, right? But I don't think she's... Drew. I don't know. Uh, but look how cute this collection is. So I definitely think I got the best one from the collection, personally. I just really like the style of the outfit on the one that I got. Uh, and these were all just bought randomly on eBay. Uh, my max budget for these is if I get them brand new in box and I really like them, I'll pay $30. The others, like, if they're out of box especially, I won't pay over that. Um, and I've had trouble adding them to my collection because of that. But, I mean, this is quite a few that I get to unbox today. And my Fashion Fever collection has looked, like, small. Oh, it is Drew. Okay. She looks so different, but she's really pretty. I really like her. I do have another Drew, but she's not, she's not like, display worthy. Um, so I actually have, like, a small collection of Fashion Fever dolls on display right now. I think there's, like, four on display. Uh, and as you can see, I'm going to double my collection today. I've had these for months, but some of these I've had, like, a year probably. But... Um, I just didn't have the heart to unbox them because I thought the boxes were so cool. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to be keeping the packaging. I'm going to take some pictures or maybe do some cuts. But truly, again, these are not uncommon at all secondhand. Like, they're really, really common. So I'm not really worried about it. Okay. I think it's one of the best Barbie lines, too. I really like them. Also, sorry if anyone's just joining. This isn't, like, the usual live streams where I'm doing, like, a Q&A actively. I might answer questions if I see them. But I'm mostly just going to be unboxing these Barbaras. And we actually have more Barbies to unbox if I do this too fast because I have some holiday Barbies I'd like to unbox too. Oh my gosh, this one comes with a poster. <gasps> okay, so a bunch of these come with posters then because I think Kayla and this Barbie come with posters too. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's check this out. Also, I love Fashion Fever too because these were made, they're Playline dolls. Like I had one when I was a kid, but the reason that they're packaged like this, look, so they come with stands, which is also the packaging. But if you want to like play with your doll and display, even after you unbox her, you can put the tube back on and keep it. So this doll's $200? I paid like 20 bucks for her. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, I guess she's like an uncommon one. I swear I bought 
This was back in, like, June of last year, I think. I don't know. There's a video, I'm pretty sure, where I show where I got these. I think it was a P.O. Box video, and I was just like, hey, I bought these two. Uh, I think I got them from Canada, and they were just these three, I believe, weren't a lot together. I'd have to double check. I don't 100% remember. Hi, Jess. Okay, I need to get this rubber band off without harming this poster, because, look, it's actually hurting it right here. I want to see the poster. When I was a kid, I didn't have any of the tube ones. I had the Styles for Two who came with a journal, and I haven't been able to find that. Ooh, it's dry rotted a little bit. Um, I haven't been able to find that doll for a good price. I mean, 50 is not bad, I guess, but I want to pay less than that. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping to get her soon. I might just... Okay, oh, I actually have her full outfit and a bunch of her accessories. I just... Because I found it at the thrift store, but I have not been able to find the doll. Oh, how cute. Okay. So she was actually one of the later ones, too. She was from 2006. These are really nice. Some of these don't have good pictures online. Ooh, I have that one from the PJ collection. Oh, this is so fun. Ooh, that's kind of getting bent. Ah! The furniture is like, I would die to have. It's actually ridiculous how nice that furniture is. And then there's like a little makeup set. See what I mean? Like these are Playline dolls, but they're like collector quality. It's so cool. <gasps> Ooh, and then you get a picture of a bunch of them from the Modern Trends collection. So I have this one who we're gonna unbox today. I have this one. And that's it for this collection. Oh, they're so pretty. This is so cute that you get a little poster. It's like really rolled up though, so it's gonna be hard to unroll that, but cool. Okay, I assume these posters, well, that one's green, so that one's probably different, but I assume the other poster might be the same. Yeah, sorry it's been so long. I was like, <laughs> with vintage dolls, it's hard to gauge when like to post videos on them because I don't know, uh, but I thought a live stream would be fun. And then look at this cute purse. So she comes with like a bonus thing. Not all of them come with a bonus. Sometimes it's just a tag, but this one came with a little bonus. Okay, sorry. I'm like really, really delaying this. Hi, Cherry. Also, sorry, I haven't said hi to everybody. It's, I'm mostly looking at the dolls. Look how much dry rot there is. Oh, I'm so excited to get her out of here. She's so cute. This one in particular, I've just been staring at uh, for months on display. Just like, I need to get her out. How many dolls do I have? Uh, I think over 3,000. I haven't counted like in a long time. Right now I'm working on a like spreadsheet. Well, right now being, I haven't worked on it in a long time, but back in like, I don't know. I don't even know what month it was. It was sometime over the summer. I was working on a list of all of my dolls, like for insurance purposes, really. <laughs> like how much I paid for them, where I got them, stuff like that. And also just be useful in general for me. And yeah, I was at like 1500 on that list and it was missing most of my larger collections. So <laughs> I think I have somewhere in the 3000 range, but I don't know. I think once, once I'm done doing my doll room, like fixing it up, we will count. I will do a video. I will dedicate a video to counting all of my dolls and it will be very, um, not very fun for me, but I think it'll be cool. See how fun this is? Like every single piece of this packaging is easily like you can put it all back together. You ordered a hashtag Lika, congrats. I really love those dolls. Uh, I'm trying to figure, oh, no, her stand is broken. Oh man, and there's no way she, oh, both sides of the stands are broken. Interesting, it's probably dry rot. Um, hopefully we don't encounter that too much in this video, but I imagine we'll see it quite a bit because these dolls are old and they, not. I know they're not that old, but they've been sitting in their packaging. And this is a big thing with like keeping dolls in box. I think it's cool to keep them in box and I keep quite a few dolls in box in my collection, but sorry, I'm like really being careful with the packaging, but I'm not gonna keep it. I might keep parts of it, but I'm not gonna keep it. Um, okay, there's a lot of tape. It's so funny how much, Oh, Kayla died. <laughs> May she rest in peace. We'll get her back later. Um, <laughs> Oh, I'm not worried about the stand. I actually have, like, the stands that I use that I buy on Amazon are literally Fat Fever stands, just uh, knocked off, I guess. So they they work better than these anyway. The four pack for 13 or 13 euros is like $15, right? That's awesome though, congrats, dang. Yeah, there's some really good deals if you wait and catch them, but it's hard because sometimes you don't know if it's actually gonna go on sale, especially in Europe. I've heard it's really hard to get dolls on clearance there, congrats. Um, okay, let's get her out of here. I'm I'm being so careful. <laughs> I'm usually not this careful in slow unboxing, but like, ah, okay. So she's coming out of here. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go get more stands. I mean, I have a lot of stands. Like last time, I, well, I was buying doll stands and my mom noticed that I just kept buying them in like tens. And she was like, you know what? And she ordered me like hundreds of them from China. And I'm so grateful. I have not run out of stands since then. And it's been months. Um, so I'm going to put this stand aside because it is broken so you can see and it's so weird because she was like Metal in there. So that's kind of strange that it broke um, But I don't like stands that use the hard plastic on that part because it breaks so easily uh, Even if it wasn't broken in the packaging 
Oh, what was I saying? Oh, dolls break themselves in packages. Like, they, they get messed up. Sorry, I'm going to get some stands, because I anticipate more stands are going to be broken. Okay, here's more stands. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so... So I was telling you guys like, oh, these are literally just knockoff fashion beaver stands. Let me show you what I mean. So this is so funny because I didn't know this. I knew or I thought they were knockoff monster high stands that were just like altered somehow, um, which is funny. Um, look, they have this little lip and I always wondered what it was. I just assumed it was from when they mold it like it was some kind of extra. But no, it's the fashion fever thing to hold the tube in place so you can put the tube back on. Uh, so I just thought that was kind of funny. See? <laughs> it fits the tube right on there. Um, so yeah, fits Barbie well. I always just assumed they were for Monster High because they fit Monster High. So what, what was in her hair? Ew. Yeah. Love freeing. Okay. So this is either going to be the most nightmarish experience or the most exciting experience ever. Ready? Yes. Okay. It was the good one. These were on My Little Ponies when I was a kid and I love them. But there's this, there's this newer kind that's actually like a nightmare to take off. So I'm glad that was the fun kind. Oh my God, this doll is beautiful. Okay, let's get her on her stand. This might be one of my new favorite Barbies out of my whole collection. Oh, and funny, funny story about these. These are knockoff fashion fever stands like I just established to you. Like they're the same, see? They're just a little bit shorter. Wait, let me show you. Just a little shorter. You can see this one goes up to here and this one's like maybe it's less than an inch shorter, but they actually fit Barbie not super well. Like, especially my scene, they do not fit. It's so funny, but that's interesting. They are actually shorter. So that's of note at least, but you could honestly, let me check this. I bet you could use the stand clips from the knockoff stands on this and then that would fix that problem. Let's see. No, you can't. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Okay. So you can't. I just hate, like, stands that use this, like, harder plastic material break so easily and they dry rot and it's not good. The softer material is better because it, like, can expand easier onto your dolls because different dolls have different sized waists. Um, and then also, if it doesn't fit the waist, like on my Mycene dolls, they're taller than this because they have larger shoes than this. What you do is you put it on the leg and it will actually hold decently well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ever After High sucks to buy secondhand, but see? Holds by the leg. And that's actually, like, more invisible, too on this particular doll. All right. Yeah, my Annika's love falling off display. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't even think she's that tall. I don't know what her deal is. It's probably just sometimes the material's too slippery. Okay. So here is our Drew doll. She has, okay, we are not at the right height. There we go. Look at her. So she does have some like styling wax on her face, which is why it's so shiny. Hopefully this is um like, Hopefully you can see her well. I can't really tell. On live stream, it doesn't show me how focused the camera is really. Uh, sometimes it looks really blurry, but you guys tell me it looks good. Um, oh, good, she's so pretty. Is she really expensive on eBay? I had no idea. Um, oh, dry rotted rubber band. So I'm gonna need to restyle that because it's so delicate and perfect. Oh, she's so pretty. I do have rubber bands handy, but I will be embarrassed if I try to do that right in front of y'all. And I, yeah, I love her freckles and she has like, I think they're supposed to be brown eyes, but they're just vaguely hazel. And the the hair color. Like, with that brown, with that pink streak, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Almost reminds me of Generation 3 Claudine. Not... So, Generation 3 Claudine mainly has this, like, pinker kind of lavender color and then the brown underneath. I don't know. She's so pretty. That's so funny. But eBay is very overpriced, like, to be fair. I, I hate buying things on eBay. I, I just bought something on eBay this morning after months of not buying anything on eBay, actually. Um, but I got a good deal... Um, okay, so she has this really, really cute overshirt, and I bet this is a separate piece because Mattel used to be so good about that. Yep, totally separate piece. Check this out. There's a full separate tank top underneath. God, this shirt is so pretty. See, the others in her collection, from what I saw, don't seem to have, like, such an interesting outfit. It's, like, a two-piece that's animal print on every single other one. Or a one-piece. This one's pretty neat, too, but I feel like hers just has the most interesting stuff going on. Oh, bye. Thanks for coming. Sorry. Okay. We got through one doll. We did it. <laughs> okay. Look at that necklace. And I love the little ribbon. I always hated this when I was a kid though. Like when you had to, that's actually burned on, I think. But when you had to tie accessories on, I just could not figure it out. It was so difficult. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh, you have this one. I love her. I think she's so cool. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I really like her. I had no idea she was Drew. For, she looks very different. I think Pacific Coast is discontinued, but is that surprising? I feel like, because series one, two, and three are discontinued too. 
Um, and then she has a denim skirt. It's like doll grade denim. It's really nice though. It's not that like plasticky material that you'll find on doll jeans recently. Um, unless it's Rainbow High. M M or, um, MGA generally uses like the faux denim material. That's really nice. Hello, Fark Toy Review. And then really, really nice. Like it's like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like papery, pleathery material. I, it's fine. I, I said really, really nice. <laughs> I, I think it looks really, really nice. And I love the little belt buckle, the decorative stitching, super cute. I love this delicate dusting of glitter they would always put over the jeans during this era of Barbie. And then this is awesome. This skirt is so cool. Check out this fluff. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hello, hello kitty from the United States. And then this, I feel like they use this a lot, a lot. <laughs> and then if we move down, we can take a look at these beautiful. Well, she came out during my scene era. Like my scene came out a long time before her. Um, look how cute the shoes are. These are super, super cute. I wish there was some kind of painted detail, but these dolls were very inexpensive. I don't remember what they retailed for, but I feel like they were under $15, if not 15. Like they were not even $20 for the quality they are. It's like really impressive. And I know at the time, uh, obviously currency was a little bit different, right? Like a $10 doll is different than today's $10 doll. But like the price for this is so impressive. Not, my scene did not come out in 1999. No, no, no. <laughs> it came out in like 2002, right? <laughs> it was made to compete with Bratz, solely to compete with Bratz. So, so cute. So, so cute. Okay, we need to save Kayla, who fell under the desk earlier. <laughs> um, Karma might have been short-packed. I don't think so. Crystal was, wasn't. was uh, Crystal actually had multiple re-releases on her own with nobody else in Series 2. Masquerade Madness, Noli, she was the first... She's the, the rocker one, right? She's... I think she's really, really pretty as a doll, but in Masquerade Madness, I don't think she's the most interesting one because her outfit is just not that interesting, but she is really pretty. All right, let me go get Kayla real quick. She fell... She fell. Oh, you're talking about junior high? I don't know. I never really see them on shelves. I mean, obviously I do. You see them in my toy hunts, but I don't really pay too much attention. All right. Bam. Okay. So next we're going to be opening Kayla. I'm really excited about her too. I feel like this is one of the like iconic fashion paper dolls, not just Kayla as a character, but this specific Kayla. Uh, she's so cute. So um, this one's cute too. Cause I bought, I don't, I feel like I bought her alone. Actually. I feel like these three Barbies, the two Barbies and this one came together. And then this one I bought separately for like 25. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. I used to have one Gem in the Holograms doll, but I don't anymore because <laughs> my dad sold her. Um, all right, let's get her out of here. So I'm going to get Kayla out of here. Okay. I think those are all the pieces of tape I needed to cut. Okay. Ah! I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I, again, I'm not keeping the packaging. I promise I'm not going to. I might keep like one. <laughs> I might keep one of the boxes because I think they're so cute. I really wanted to keep some of them in box maybe, but I mean, the, it just takes up space and I don't enjoy them as much if they're in box, unless it's a double in box. Okay, what am I doing wrong? Okay, that one's broken. It's that one. This one's not fully broken. Again, I'm being so careful for no reason because <laughs> I am not keeping the packaging. Okay. I think that's it, but it's really not wanting to budge for some reason. Yeah, that one's fully cracked. It's also that um, this piece is weird too, which I guess I could just cut that. I love contents, doll, outfit, indeed. Oh, we need to get um, Drew's little purse out still too. Okay. What about now, Kayla, are you gonna come out? Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, she did not want to come out of there. Uh, so let's look at her little outer tag thing. Isn't this so cute that they did this? I just love this minimal style packaging and the new fashion fevers kind of look like that. I don't like Poshmark personally. Um, I bought something on there once. God, wait, there's another website exactly like it. So I don't remember. I, okay. One of those websites, I bought a Mycene store display and that's the only time I've ever used it. And that was weird. Like, why was that on there? And then the other website that's like identical to that. I don't even remember what it's called. It's for fashion though. Um, I tried to buy a Monster High doll and I got scammed and the company took like weeks to give me my money back and were being jerks about it. And they were like, give the seller a chance. And I was like, no, the seller like blocked me right after I purchased the item. What do you mean? This is weird. There's like marker on there. Who is this? This is a gorgeous doll. She doesn't really match the vibe of the other fashion fever dolls, but I love that one. Yeah, this is another like super iconic fashion fever doll right here. Like when I think fashion fever, I think like this one, that Kayla, the Barbie that's in the purple outfit. Is she on here at all? 
No, this one's pretty iconic too. That's a stylus for two, isn't it? I don't remember. Probably not. <laughs> okay, we have another poster to look at actually, so let's stop reminiscing. Okay, let's get the, po oh, how cute that it's rubber banded to her arm. So fun, okay. So now, I mean, we've learned that the rubber bands are so dry rotted that you don't actually need to cut them. You could just, oop, I just ripped the poster doing that. <laughs> ah! It's fine, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay, so why are you, the, the rubber band, no. Okay, never mind. Don't trust that it's dry rotted enough. It wasn't, it wasn't dry rotted enough. Oh my gosh, no. Sorry guys, hold on, I can't reach. <laughs> oh my God, I'm trying to get the rubber band off. Okay, it's off now, but at what cost it ripped the poster? I mean, it's not that much, it's not that serious, right? Like, I'm sure there's no shortage of these posters. Okay, now, let's, am I zoomed in? Okay, I am. <laughs> let's see the poster. Yay, look how cute. Okay, I love that one. This is such a 2000s outfit. This is how like I was dressing um, when I was like six. <laughs> and then, yeah, see, this one's very iconic to me. I don't know. I love, I have a Drew with this face, but not this Drew. Cause that's Drew, right? She doesn't always have freckles, does she? I don't know. Interesting. Yeah, that Drew, oh my God. I actually held her in my hands, that exact one. I love her, I want her back so bad. Um, I got scammed, I bought six Fashion Fever dolls on Mercari for like $120 and I was like, that's a good deal. They were all out of box, not all of them were even complete, but I was really excited. Um, the seller only sent three and then basically was like, you got a good deal even for the three that you got, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, but I bought six because all six of them were in the pictures. And they were like, yeah, but I meant to sell three. I just put that picture on accident. And I was like, uh-huh, right. Um, <laughs> it, it sucked, it was really annoying. Oh, look, it's like a checklist on the other side. But yeah, that was one of the dolls and I'm really sad about it. <laughs> really sad to have lost her because she was really cool because I had to send the dolls back to get my money back. That was another one of the dolls, actually. That one was one. Um, yeah. My heart was broken because they were so cute. Um, especially that Drew with the mushroom outfit. She's like unbelievably adorable. Anyway, um, that's my tale of woe with fashion fever. I kind of stopped trying to seek them out after that. I mean, at, immediately afterward, I started seeking them out because I did replace one of the ones from that lot. I managed to get another one. And then, um, yeah, I kind of, I bought a few and then I was like very discouraged because that happened. Um, my scene dolls came out in 2002, but they just kind of use a standard Barbie body, and it must be one that came out in 2000 or 1999, I guess. And all right, let's see. All the rubber bands are so dry rotted, I don't even have to cut half of it. Um, I'm cutting the little foot holders right now. Okay. Oh wait, did we look at both? Yeah, we looked at both sides. That's kind of cute that it's a little checklist thing, but I'll it's like big. Yes, you sent me that one, Dean. All right, let's get them out of here. All right, we have, oh yeah, she's still on her stand. I'm so scared to hurt the stand because uh, of the way they package it and also because that other one like came broken. I'm like scared. I feel like my other ones didn't come broken like that. Um, and I reserved the, the, these stands instead of using like these for my Fashion Fever dolls because they fit on these other ones. I use these sorts of stands for dolls that don't fit on my bootleg stands basically, even though they're basically the same thing. All right. All right. What are the release years of these dolls? All from like 2006, 2007, that sort of time period, maybe a little before, maybe a little after. All right, there she is. Again, I am so scared to break that stand, <laughs> uh, but we can undo this little metal tie. Brett was just looking for twist ties and I was like, oh, I'm about to unbox a bunch of dolls, so <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> Cause he was, uh, I think he's doing cable management or something with his computer, which I can't relate to that. Lego, are you knocking stuff over mama? Get down. Get down, mommy. Okay. She's still not wanting to come out of here. Weird. Um, here we go. Just have to be so careful. I didn't break the stand. Woohoo! Yay! I didn't break it. Okay. Then there's probably a tie back here, which we're just gonna carefully like it's not wanting to come out. They taped it. Aha. Okay, so we'll cut it. I was gonna try to carefully like rip that, but probably not happening. Okay. Now she's almost free. We just have this thing. She's gotta untape it. All right. Lego, what are you doing? You don't normally mess with stuff like that. Quit. Okay. Sorry, I'm like reorganizing the doll room. So on the other, <laughs> on, the, on the desks where my dollhouses are, I have a bunch of stuff stacked because I'm like rearranging stuff and that's what she's doing. She doesn't normally mess with dolls though, but I think she found something fluffy she wanted. Oh, ready? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, I love these things. I wish I could just, I guess you literally just sew through plastic and you could do it. Pregnant Midge, yes, I got her recently, finally. Uh, I've been trying to get her for years, but I wanted her like in a very specific condition and my friend sold her to me. And I'm so grateful because I got her and the husband and the little the little son and the doctor, which were, that's everything that I had when I was a kid. So I was really excited. Okay, so here is Miss Kayla. She looks so cute. Sorry, I'm bumping the camera. Um, and then this looks like a death trap. <laughs> How are my cats with dolls? They're fine. Like, again, this is unusual that she's doing this. I, I found what she found. She found a Barbie, what is it? Um, the cutie reveal puppies little thing. That's what she's messing with, but that's fine. <laughs> they don't really mess with the doll stuff. Like, especially if it's on the shelf and on the dolls, they don't mess with them. My other cat will occasionally like pilfer things, but he specifically likes small plushies. So I just have to display them higher up than other things and then they're good. I've never had them destroy a doll. The only thing I've ever had happen was related to my, my fiance's pet rats um, chewed the nose and the leg of one of my dolls. And like the whole, like, I'm pretty sure they ate one of the sleeves. It was like a dress that had separate sleeves. I'm pretty sure they ate one, but that's because they got out and got into my doll stuff, which was a huge shame. Look how cute this is, by the way. Isn't that fun? So clearly the bootleg stands, they've smoothed that off. <laughs> um, Lego is having so much fun. <laughs> okay, but we're not gonna be using that stand. We're using the knockoff version. I just love these stands. Okay, so here is Kayla. I really like her bangs, although they're a bit jostled. Like you can see these ones are kind of supposed to be over here and I'm not good with working with bangs though, so I'm not gonna mess with them. <laughs> um, oh yeah, my cats used to love the cheer pom-poms. I took them off display because they wouldn't leave them alone. Which is funny because they don't like crinkle balls. They just liked those pom-poms. Okay, look at this face. Yeah, so the reason I like Fashion Fever so much is not only because they just have really nice outfits, which they do. It's like the faces. Look how cute. They have so many different face styles. It's so fun. Um, and Kayla, again, this is like the iconic Kayla to me. I don't know why. Maybe she's just used in a lot of the promotional stuff for Fashion Fever, or maybe she's just common. I have no idea. But again, when I think of Fashion Fever dolls, this is the doll that comes up for me. The, the Barbie that has that like purple outfit, the like purple crocheted top. It's not crocheted. What is it? I don't know. Uh, the like purple yarn top of some sort that one and then this doll like those are the ones anyway look how cute this is so she has like a sporty kind of thing going on i really like this shirt it's it's actually made out of like a nice sporty material it's so pretty i love this little pocket thing sorry the stand is kind of making it look funny there we go <laughs> dry rotted rubber band again get that off okay how cute is that this is satin which is unusual but i think it actually works like the colors Really go well. Yeah, they do. Kind of like Hannah Montana outfits. Okay. And then we have this, which doesn't have a hole. Oh, it does. So it has a hole in the back. So if you want to put it on her head, you just have to stick her hair through there. Or you can do, I think this looks cute, honestly. So if I were to separate her hair, look how cute this is. How cute this is. Hold on. Something weird just came up on the screen. Let me figure that out. Um, well, anyway, you can put it over her head. I swear. I'm just not going to figure that out right now. Okay. Let me look at the chat real quick. Oh, Thank you, Bobby. Oh my gosh. So it says, x is the best Wakes Up Doll YouTuber. Thank you. Rambo Raph for Life is the best movie YouTuber or reviewer. Uh, GojiFan1993 is the best Godzilla YouTuber. Uh, I haven't actually watched that person's, but I do like several Godzilla channels. Uh, Rob from ETN Entertainment Talk Nation is the best entertainment movie reviewer. Well, I am so grateful to be among the greats. Thank you so much. And thank you for the, what are they called? Super chats? I appreciate it. Um, Thank you. Okay, so, oh, the trims are all satin, except the bottom one is, like, a ribbed material, which is really pretty. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I don't know how to read your name. It's just, like, a cute little face. <laughs> it's, like, an OO face. Thank you. Okay, back to the doll. So, oh, and Kanekalon hair. Well, is this Kanekalon? It's hard to tell with brand new dolls, like, with Saran versus Kanekalon. Saran can really feel like Kanekalon to me. I'm not sure. Um... I, th I still think it's Kanekalon. I think this is Kanekalon here, which is my favorite fiber. This is Saran for sure. And then this like right out the gate feels like Kanekalon to me, which is so soft. Okay, I, I made the hood like cause problems for me. I need to like fold it back however it was and then put her hair back, whatever, it looks fine. Okay, so cute. And then she has a purse, which my other doll had a purse too. We'll get it out in a second, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, look. Oh, how sweet. 
so fun. I love when they actually open like that. It's a fabric purse. It opens. I'm actually shocked they didn't put any stuffing in there, but I'm glad that they did. Really, really cute little like faux fur here and this metallic material. And this is like a faux suede type of material. It's really soft. I would collect Barbie Life in the Dreamhouse dolls to answer your question. <laughs> I would. They're just really, really hard to um to find like for decent prices. I have a couple of Barbie style dolls that I always think are Barbie uh, Life in the Dreamhouse dolls when I buy them because <laughs> I get them like at thrift stores nude. Uh, we are reviewing, well, kind of, we're unboxing a bunch of Fashion Fever dolls and doing, like, mini reviews, I guess. My scene usually has Saran, but sometimes they'll have Kanekalon. Like, um, Club Birthday Madison has Kanekalon. Um, American Girl dolls use human-grade wig fibers, so it's, like, totally different. I don't think it's wig-grade Kanekalon, although it might be. Because uh, Kanekalon, doll Kanekalon's not made anymore, but wig Kanekalon is still very common. So you can find it at, like, hair braiding stores and stuff. It's still a thing. All right, so this material is super interesting. I remember some Bratz dolls using it, which, duh, it's, like, a nice material. <laughs> um, really nice. It's a bit see-through, though, I think. Like, oh, no, not really. It's very cute. I love the stripey pattern. It kind of, I think it just reminds me because of the pattern of some Bratz. It's really, really pretty. Again, I think I need to make it clear. I'm not saying that because I'm like, oh, they're copying Bratz. That's not what I'm saying at all. Um, I love the little buttons. They're so delicate and nice. The actual sewn-on buttons are very impressive. And then, like, how cute are these little pieces and the little ruffles. So cute. So, so cute. Love this. Um, this skirt is to die for. Even though, like, I wouldn't think this outfit would work. Like, I would never put... I mean, not that I know anything about fashion, but I would never specifically put this outfit together. Oh, is this actually, like, off-center? I don't really care about a manufacturing defect from 20 years ago, but that's kind of funny. Um, I can always just use the stand to kind of manipulate it back. Hold on. I think it was sewn on off-center. I keep trying to fix it, and then I'm like, wait, look. If you look at the center... It's, like, completely off-center, but I can use the stand, see? And now it looks less off-center. Ta-da! <laughs> okay. Then this. Oh, those are so precious. Oh, my God. Are these called espadrilles or whatever? I guess you can't tell because they don't have that, like, basket weave, but how cute are these? Look at the little treads on the bottom. Oh, wow. I don't think they just changed the wig type because I just got 109. Was that her number? Um, recently, and she has the same hair as Grace, like the exact same hair as Grace. Um, anyway, I love these shoes. I love these shoes. So, so cute. Oh, and I didn't show you her sunglasses on her head, so let's roll back up to her head. Super cute. So here's her sunglasses. Aren't they sweet? I actually super like those. Barbie sunglasses don't bother me as much as other dolls. Oh, they're called mules. See, I have never heard that word in my life, I don't think. Um, it's just a type of sandal. Um, doll sunglasses bother me a lot because they just take up a lot of space, and I don't think they're cute enough to uh, warrant that in my life. Because, like, I rarely display them on my dolls. Because, I don't know, they cover their pretty eyes or they cover their pretty hairstyle. But Barbie ones are the past because they're so small and cute. Okay, next. Who should we open next, my friends? Oh, this is uh, Drew from the animal print collection from Fashion Fever. Yeah, I love that one. <laughs> okay, now we need to go get that thing, this. We didn't unbox this. Also, I didn't show you these, I'm sorry. So she has a B tag, and on the other side it shows her, and then here's her and all her friends, and I really, th oh, her, what is this one? That's not, because this is Barbara in this line. Who is this? Because I have other dolls of her, too. Well, I have one doll I think is her, but she's not on display. And then she's the doll that I got scammed out of. And then this is blister package, so unfortunately I do have to rip it to get the accessory out. Which, oh my gosh, this the shoes for my PJ collection, Courtney, they were packaged like this. So they're actually not with my doll. It's so funny, because she's like complete, complete, but she doesn't have this. So I'm thinking that they might have accidentally thrown them away. Yeah, the tags are all different. I guess it's by collection, though. Uh, I have not found any of the Talking Monster Eye plushies yet. To be fair, my Walmarts are not very good. Except that time I found Aisha first out of anybody. That was actually kind of crazy. Um, this is very simple. It's just like a little plastic thing, but it's cute. And I'm pretty sure there were bags like this at the time. So, 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 so cute. And yeah, matches her outfit. Very, very cute. I don't think uh, Candy and Kitty are canceled. I think they're just being delayed. I need to make the video. I went to a, like, a toy show in New York City, which unfortunately had, like, no dolls. Um, one of those, like, press shows for, like, influencer people. Um, and they had this whole briefing about, like, <laughs> they had this whole briefing thing about dolls and, like, what's going on in the industry. And, like, almost all companies are going to be delaying a lot of product until fall so you're probably going to see a lot of things that are like oh i think this is canceled no they're getting delayed um because 
80% of toy sales are made in quarter three, which is the fall, according to this presentation. I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but that's what they told me. Um, so yeah, toy companies are like, why bother releasing things in spring when they're not going to sell and they're going to get clearanced out before the big selling time? I don't know. Okay, first person to say it. One, two, three, four. Who are we opening next? Woo! Um, I buy my Fashion Fever dolls on like Mercari mainly, but it's really hard because most people just listen to them as Barbies because they are just Barbies. So it's kind of like the regular... Okay, we're opening four. Um, it's kind of like fashionistas. Like if you're looking for original fashionistas, it's hard to find them because there's fashion... Fe or there Oh my God, I'm getting tongue twisted. There's fashionista dolls. Also, thank you for picking this one. This one's going to be way easier to open. So this one actually was a gift from my friend Dean who's here right now. So I mentioned that earlier, but now he's here. So yay. <laughs> um... I hope there's hope for mermaids, but I'm not so sure because it just depends on if the stores are ordering them. I really hope so because I really want those slumber party dolls to come out. Oh my God. Okay. Whoop. How has my day been so far? I woke up and I was in a lot of pain and then I had to sit around and then I organized my doll room a little bit <laughs> and now I'm doing this. <laughs> so unfortunately I haven't done a lot. Uh, because I'm like, also, I don't even know what the temperature is. I have not been outside today. It felt fine in the garage. So there's that. Um, oh, I probably should have showed the packaging at all. Sorry. Wow. So this is summer. I don't know if this collection like has a name. It's just fashion fever. Yeah. Um, they do have like fan names usually. And okay. So I don't know if I'm feeling this outfit, but maybe if I got it, I would change my mind. I think the peplum or whatever this is over the pants with a shirt that has a hard line here is a little bit of a weird thing. <gasps> but these shoes! But these shoes. Um, and then, love this. And then, um, Summer. Ooh! Her shoes. Whoever this is, oh my god, this outfit is glorious. And then you get some, like, close-ups of details that the designers must have liked. Super cute. Super cute. Okay. And yeah, so this doll's dated 2007, but that's the box date. It doesn't always mean she literally came out in 2007. Probably 2008 if I had to guess. Okay, so here she is in her actual packaging. So she does not come with a poster. <gasps> oh no, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, she doesn't actually come with anything that shows the other dolls. So um, it seems like they switched to this packaging at some point, probably because it's cheaper. Is this, um, I think there's mold in her packaging. <gasps> oh no, I'm gonna have to, um, wash her. So when there's something, I don't know if this is mold or dirt, but I always treat it like it's mold just in case. So for this, I'm going to basically just dip her in vinegar and like scrub her down really good. And generally that's fine. I haven't had recurrent mold issues, even if there's something like this, because it's not really affecting the doll. Um, but she's going to be quarantined immediately because yeah, that's not looking too good. But it happens. Again, that's why I generally will unbox vintage dolls because it's just not worth the risk of them destroying themselves in the packaging. And I've found that, like, dolls I get secondhand that are, like, out of box are generally in, like, fine condition or you can fix them up to being in perfect condition. Whereas if you get them new in box, there's always these problems. Always these problems. I think more dolls should come with posters, too, honestly, because I think they're really cool. <gasps> they stopped coming with stands? <sighs> Um, I think her hair is Kanekalon. See, so the big difference between, like, Saran and Kanekalon for me is, like, Kanekalon feels a lot drier, which I like, and it's, like, fluffy, a lot fluffier. Fashion doll version of zombies. I, I know it's not coming because I keep bothering them about it every time I meet them in person, and they keep telling me no, like, it's not happening. Uh, but there is a new Zombies series coming, which I'm very excited about, of the figures. And Spin Master... Spin Master, yeah. Spin Master is making dolls next year, so... Um, you need help identifying some Bratz dolls. Um, oh, I'm not the best at identifying them. My friend has a website that's really good called lookinbrats.com if you want to try to identify them. I can try to help. For moldy dolls, I made a video about cigarette odor. Um, la <laughs> it was like literally New Year's of 2022, I think. Um, it was like how to clean nasty smelly dolls or something. I don't remember. Um, but you use vinegar. Like <laughs> vinegar will fix it. It's like... It, it kills the spores, and then also you can do hot water, but with clothing, you want to be really careful because if the spores get in there, it's pretty bad. Like, they can just kind of chillax in there. So just really, really soak them is what I would do. Uh, you can also do things like OxyClean, but generally I don't like to use super harsh chemicals unless I absolutely have to. But yeah, so that's what I would do. All right, so this is Summer. Her, pet, her, her, um, her hair is really, really soft. Super soft. She has, like, a cute little... 
string there. I don't think it was supposed to be there though. She's so pretty. I love the green eyes. And if you think something might be mold um, on a doll, it's better to be safe than sorry. Treat it uh, before you let them into your general population with the other dolls. Just from her just sitting here, it's going to be fine. Like, she's not going to spread it too bad. Like, you know, especially because these dolls aren't in a condition where it will get on them. Like, really, it's not going to grow on them. Um, but you want to make, like, be very careful. Be diligent with the dolls that do have it. Because although if I keep her, like, on my shelves without washing her, she'll be fine. I'm sure she's not going to spread it or anything. Um, but if I were to ever store them away, like, 10 years from now or something in an environment that mold would like, it will grow. Uh, it'll last. So you want to just really be careful with that. And she'll be fine. She'll just smell a little funny. <laughs> um... She's super pretty. She's really, really pretty. I really like the face. Like, the green eyes with that purple makeup is so, so pretty. And the purple lips, too. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then, um, like, a crushed velvet mimic material for this little coat. It's a short-sleeved coat. Really like this sporty material here, too. They used it on Kayla. I'm gonna go wash my hands after this before I touch the other dolls, by the way. Um, and I'll take her to the bathroom to be washed as well. Um... And her shirt. I really like this. Like, what were they? I don't know what it's referencing, but it's really pretty. This little, like, lion thing going on. So cute. So cute. Surge line here. This is an actual trim, but this is a surge line trim, which I, I don't mind a surge line trim. I think it's awesome. The hair is so soft. It's going to stink after I treat it with that vinegar, fortunately. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I'm not going to put her on a stand either. Sorry. I want to make sure that if that's mold, I don't spread it anywhere. And then I do want to see, though... What's going on? Like, is that a separate shirt? No. So those sleeves are attached. That's kind of a shame because I feel like without the full outfit, they don't really go together. But I don't change the outfits on these dolls anyway, so it's fine. Uh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I really like the animal print, too, because I think it'll go really nicely with Drew, who we unboxed earlier, that one. And then this is super soft, too. Look at this with all the little metallic strings. I do think it's just dirt that got in the box, honestly, because of this, but still, I'm going to be very careful. And I love this, like, vague, is it snake skin or, like, alligator skin vibe this has going on with the fur, but it's, like, pressed. I don't even know how to describe that. It has the scaly look to it. It's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Don't, don't be sorry. I, nobody could have had any idea about that. In fact, I didn't even notice when she was in box, um, but she'll be fine. I'm not worried. And then the boots are super, super pretty. Check those out, all that painted detail. So cute. So, so cute. I'm really excited about this one. Uh, but she won't be able to go on display immediately. She'll just be a quick restoration project, which I might just do off camera, but maybe I'll include it in the next dollar update. We'll have to see. Oh, the bending legs. Yeah, they don't really have the click joints as much anymore. They just do those hollow plastic legs, which I hate. Um, all right, I'm gonna... Oh, and then she comes with the purse. I'll... Oh, I said that weird. I will be right back. I'm going to go set her down in the other room and wash my hands just so I don't directly spread things to the other dolls. Goodbye. Leaving dolls in liquid for 24. <laughs> you should do that. You should become a YouTuber. I'll be back. Hi, pretty. All right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, okay. Sorry if you if you weren't here earlier. Um, that doll that we just unboxed, I suspect, had mold. It doesn't honestly doesn't seem like it's mold, but it's way better to be safe than sorry there. So I washed my hands and put her in the other room, and she's gonna be getting mold treatments. So yay. Okay, and I ran in here, so now I'm out of breath. <laughs> sorry, hold on a second. Pickled doll hair. <laughs> yeah, it, um, isn't, isn't that how you make pick? How do you make pickles? It's vinegar, right? I don't know. Okay, anyway. <laughs> now, one, two, or three. We have one, we have two, and we have three. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> um, all right, the first comment I saw was one. So we're going to open this one next. So this is who I think is probably just meant to be Barbie from the 
Modern Trends Collection. Yeah, Modern Trends Collection. Who, Kayla was from that collection too, right? No. Who was? Am I? Am I making things up in my head? Where is it? Okay. No, Kayla was not from that collection. Okay, I think I just saw it on one of the posters. Okay, so this is our doll. Again, I got these on eBay like a year ago. And I don't even, I remember I paid, like I got a good deal on these. I was really excited, but I don't even remember uh, what I ended up paying. Okay, so this must be the Modern Trends collection. Yeah, this is a very iconic Fashion Fever doll too right here. And I have this one. So now I'm gonna have these two from this collection. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, I really like this one. I have her. She was one of the ones that I got scammed out of and then I rebought her, which um, in that case, I paid more than I probably should have for that one. I think I paid like 30, but it's fine. Um, oh, cute. So they did a little fashion show for the kids as well. Very cute. I really am like rocking with this one's outfit. This one's really cool. Okay, let us unbox our doll now. So we're just gonna cut this part. I'm not playing games with this anymore. We're just gonna cut this, it's easier, okay. And then I would like to do a little Spatch Shop collection video and that is my answer to that question. <laughs> um, it's, it's definitely something that I'm planning on doing. It's just, um, depends. <laughs> like I need to get that all set up. And uh, since that room is getting really like nicely set up, it's coming along really well, I think I'll be able to. With me, um, empty dingo to answer your question, to me a good deal on a doll is retail or lower. Um, so like, I, I have like weird standards in my collection. So I have a lot of dolls and I like having a lot of dolls and I want to continue buying a lot of dolls like in my life, but I also don't want to spend like a lot of money on them. So what I do to limit my collection, cause realistically I would like to have every single doll that ever existed, right? Except Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> um, but I'm, you know, like for the most part, oh, how funny. Um, the stand came off. <laughs> I'm a big fan of like all dolls ever, right? So I, to limit myself and to limit the amount of money that I'm spending, I have a rule that I'll only spend retail or lower. And then if something's in box, I was kind of born in the nineties. I was born in 99. Ha <laughs> um, If, if it's a doll I like really, really want, I'll pay like double retail. And if it's like top of my wish list, I might pay more. Uh, but for the most part, all of the dolls in my collection were like $10 or less. Um, and then since I buy a lot of them retail now, I didn't used to, I used to just wait for them to be on sale. Um, my average right now, because I have a lot of really expensive dolls, like I have some dolls that retailed for like $600. My average is around $20 each for all my dolls. Um, I like Blythe dolls. I don't know if I would actively seek them out, but if I found one for a good price, I would buy them. Yeah, you got the fairy one. I love those cats. Oh my God. They're so cute. They are so, so cute. All right, let's see. Sorry, I'm trying to like work around this. I'm being so funny. I used to keep all of the packaging, all my dolls, which I can't do, oh my God. Um, I don't have any Blythe dolls now. They're, they're like really expensive. Oh yeah, I plan on getting the live action Little Mermaid and Tinkerbell dolls, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, um, for the budget thing, I made a video on like how I budget for my dolls, kind of. I don't super like budget necessarily, but I have like rules that I keep that help me a lot. Um, it's with like not overspending and everything. And I find a lot of my wishlist dolls, it's just about waiting. But if your wishlist doll, if you don't like to have a large collection and you're not looking for a lot of dolls, maybe it's better to spend like $60 on a doll that I would only spend like $5 on, you know? Because then you'll get her immediately, right? You don't have to wait like six years like I have to sometimes. <laughs> um, it just depends. Just depends. Okay, let's cut this. So much easier when there's like tape that keeps it in place so I can just take it right off like that. Um, and then we get to do another one of those pull strips. I am so excited. I love them. All right. Oh, my bad. Dropped that. All right. Also, sorry guys, I see comments coming in. Um, I haven't said this in a minute, so I'm gonna say it again, but um, this, since it's like an unboxing live stream, is a little bit different. I'm not like explicitly answering all the comments, so I'm sorry if I like miss your comment. I'm not ignoring you or anything. It's just when I happen to look down, uh, if I'm not already talking about something else, I will answer questions. <laughs> uh, but you guys have been really cool. Like nobody's um, saying anything like, ah, why didn't you answer my comment? But yeah, sorry, I'm not um, paying 100% attention. Okay, now for the best part. Are you ready? Well, we have to remove the tape first. Okay. Well, actually, here we go. Woohoo. Okay. Sorry. I love this thing. I love this little pull strip thing. Oop. There we go. There we go. Okay. Woohoo. 
So, oh yes, Kanekalon. <laughs> I'm winning today. <laughs> okay, today is Kanekalon A. Oh my gosh. And I suspect if we do open the holiday Barbies that are also potentially going to be in this video, they will also have Kanekalon. So we are winning. We are winning. Okay, her hair is so nice. I think it has a styling gel in it, or not gel, a wax, because it's like shiny and a little bit heavier than usual. But look at this hair. So she has blonde hair with brown streaks and these little micro braids are really, really pretty. They don't all have Kanekalon. I don't know why you're saying that. This is Saran. I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you. Oh, oops. <laughs> I dropped that. Okay. I know most of them have Kanekalon, like chill. I, I know it's an older Barbie thing, but it is my favorite fiber and I'm always excited to feel it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, so pretty. I love the micro braids. This was like my first Mycene dolls when I was a kid. The Spring Break ones had this and I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. It was so cool. So cute. Her hair is so, so silky and nice. Okay. So first her face. Again, she has like shine on her face and I do think it's styling gel. To get this off, by the way, not gel, I keep saying gel, wax. Wax is different. Gel is like hard generally and wax is where you can still wash the or like play with the hair. So you can see this is wax. That's why that's kind of keeping it shaped, but I can still bend it if I want to really, really easily. Super. I love the hair. Best way to treat Liv Kanekalon. Oh my God, I love Liv's Kanekalon hair. Um, I'm, I wanna make a video about Kanekalon, but people, anytime I make a doll hair video and I'm like, this is how I do it, people get like really aggressive in the comments for some reason. Um, so it discourages me from making them. But basically, just don't boil the hair, whatever you do, just condition it in hot water, not boiling hot water, because Kanekalon is a low temperature fiber, it'll melt. Um, and it should be fine. I love Liv Dolls, oh my God. <laughs> Look how cute. Sorry, I, I can't stop staring at her face. I really like the minimal, simple makeup. Like, I think she's really cool. Well, this is minimal for Barbie, I should say. I don't think this is minimal makeup in general. Uh, moving down, she has this really, really cute top, which I'm actually like not letting it reach its full potential by putting the stand on it. Look how cute this is. It's got that like, I don't ever know what to call this, like cupcake liner type of crimp to it. Crimp, oh my God, uh, pleating. It's not pleated. It's called, like, gathered, right? But then I always call this ruched, and I'm not sure if that's the word. I have no idea. Um, but isn't this cute? And then it's also looking weird because there's this belt. So let's move the belt. Free the shirt. It's interesting that she's wearing, like, this metallic belt with this very, like, springy outfit. Maybe summery. The flowers are making me say spring, but it, this is very summery to me. This is so pretty. This is so pretty. Honestly, might not display her with the belt. So cute. This is gorgeous. Sorry. I, <laughs> this is why I can't review fashion fever dolls. I'm just like, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love this. I love this. Pretty, 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 pretty. <laughs> um, super cute. Yeah. Brett likes to make fun of me sometimes in a nice way. He's not being mean. Uh, I'll come out of the room after filming and he's been sitting in the living room and he's like, oh, this is so gorgeous. <laughs> Cause that's all I say. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is what the shirt looks like. And then if we put the belt back, which I'm going to put it back for now, just to show what she like came like. Yeah. I like the idea of a belt with this top. Like I don't mind it. I think it makes the silhouette interesting, but I don't think she should have had a metallic belt if she was going to have one. And then also do they expect it at waistline? Cause it doesn't look like it goes at waistline. It looks like it goes here, like at the hip, which looks even worse. So I don't know, but I do like the little uh, pink gems on it a lot. I think they just wanted to include more accessories. Oh, I totally agree. I was about to say, I wish she had come with a choker or something. I think that would have gone better. Um, but truly this outfit is so like free and comfy. I think this doesn't really go. So I'm sure I'll find a doll that looks good in this though, because this is so cute. <laughs> Jade, as you said that. <laughs> um, and look how much extra fabric there is to play with the silhouette of this outfit too. Oh, how funny. Yeah, so I've noticed this unboxing my scene dolls. They used to just tape things on. That's what they used to do. They would just tape them. Like uh, my scene dolls, it's like, oh my gosh, why doesn't the shirt stay up ever? When, when you get one like secondhand, you're like, oh my God, the shirt just doesn't stay up. And then when you unbox them, you realize they taped them on. It's like, oh, that's how they stay up. They taped them, they're cheating. <laughs> um, Oh, I do think brown would look good. Okay, I just saw one of those big ones. Um, thank you, I am Emily. I love your profile picture. <laughs> um, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, Fanka KM. Oh, you found the secondhand. Oh, I'm jealous. I feel like this would be like the ultimate secondhand find. I bet it would look amazing on Rainbow High. And not saying you like only collect Rainbow High or something. I don't know you personally, but uh, I think like 
this is such a unique like shirt for a lot of different lines. Don't see shirts like this, so it's really pretty. Okay, and then let's move down. They did not super glue the clothes on, no way. <laughs> okay, now for the skirt. I love those dolls. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I think on March 27th, my um, my other Preaker dolls, the the Futari Wa ones, the pre-orders will finally ship to my proxy and then I can ship them home. And they're so, oh, I'm so excited. The Preaker style dolls this year are so good. Okay, this skirt is amazing. This skirt is amazing. I really like... So it's made out of like a pretty basic, like, I don't know, like a polyester material, but look at the nice. They don't even feel ironed on. How did they do this? I think it's paint. I think they painted this on somehow. I have no idea. It looks gorgeous though. So pretty. Instead of doing like, how do they do this normally? Like embroidery? They did it. It looks the same though. It looks really pretty. I have a dress made out of the material this is supposed to be mimicking. This is gorgeous. This like tiered skirt thing. God, I, I want to steal these pieces so bad for other dolls. They're so pretty. <laughs> okay, and then moving down, we have the shoes, which are, oh, I maybe thought those were just weird flats. These are so cute. You could make them flats. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> you could, though. Uh, these are very, very cute. A little big, though, so I'm glad they have the little strap here. Super cute, super simple. Yeah, so this is just such a fun, like, summery outfit. I really like this. Oh my god. Okay. I didn't, I don't know, from the packaging, I didn't really like this one that much. I mean, obviously I liked her. I like her fine. Um, but she wasn't my favorite, but now I'm like, wow, she's so pretty. I especially really like the, the lip color with the rest of the outfit. I don't know. I think it works really well. I think she's very pretty. <gasps> there is. Okay. Amber Ruxpin. I'm gonna have to take some, take a look. Oh, and we forgot this, by the way. I think Barbara will never get here again. Although I will say I do like a lot of the new Barbie releases. Like I think a lot of the new Barbie releases are really fantastic. And that's coming from someone who like basically gave up on Barbie. Oh, I forgot to look at her purse too. Guys, this isn't an actual review, right? And I'm like all over the place. So I'm not getting to all the points I should be getting. Oh my gosh, come off. It's like just dry rotted enough where I can just do that, but also not dry rotted enough where it's easy to do that. Okay. We didn't rip this poster guys. Okay. I forgot to show you that she comes with this purse that's like a little bundle of cute flowers. Isn't this nice? So cute. Really like that. And then the poster. It's probably the same as that other one. New in spring 2006. Yeah, I think this is the same as earlier. Yeah. But if you weren't here, so we opened this doll earlier and she came with this exact poster. Um, I really like these dolls. They're so cute. They're so unique. I think they come in that... Um, that kind of rectangular packaging, right? Sorry, I'm trying to make sure you can see all this. Okay, those are the makeup chic dolls. So I guess they come with, oh, is that what? No, these are a separate thing that they were selling, I guess. And then we have the PJ collection. I have that one. I got her thrifting. I really like her. And then the room sets. Oh, I would die to have them. Beautiful. So does one of the dolls come with the room? Cause look. That doll's shirt is so cute. Very like, very 2000 shirt there. And then we have the Modern Trends collection, which is where our current doll is from. So you can see her there. So cute. And then, oh, I like that one a lot. Oh my God. I think this is still the superior one. Oh no. <gasps> Wait. Yeah, I noticed her earlier and fell in love with her and I just did it again. Oh my God, she's so pretty. Hello. Her shoes are not my favorite, but wow, she's pretty. I love the little hat. And I love this one's little scarf on her head. God, they're so cool. This is such a cool line. God, okay. Anyway, that is the 2006 Modern Trends collection. Yay. I know I really want to frame these, but like, where am I going to put them? In what wall space? <laughs> yeah, I actually have never seen a Fashion Fever Ken. Like, I mean, I'm sure I've seen them, but like, I've never really like taken specific note of them. So I'm very surprised to see him there. All right. One or two, friends. One or two. I'll open the first one. Let's see. All right, one was first. Okay, so this one actually was sent to me in my P.O. box and the person didn't include like a note that I recall. This was a while ago. Um, so I'm not sure if they would want me to repeat their name and stuff, but thank you um, for sending them if you're ever seeing this. Um, I was so excited to get her in my P.O. box, especially because it was so funny. I had ordered... 
a bunch of these dolls that we're unboxing now at the exact same time as this came to my P.O. box. So I thought that this was the ones that I ordered and they had sent the wrong ones and I was mortified. I was like, oh no, they sent the wrong doll. And I had ordered like three dolls and only one was here. And they were both from the same country and everything. It was so funny. And then I figured it out because it had, it, and it had like a note kind of. And then the um, the eBay purchase I found later and I was like, oh, thank God. I was so, I was so scared. Um, this one's interesting because she actually has like a painted on top. Um, so I'm excited to see what that's all about. And I wonder when, oh my God, look at her friends. I can't even pick a favorite here. Look at this one. I love this ripped up shirt. This one's actually really cool. And I love this like camo thing going on here. She has the painted on top too, but I really, really like how that looks. Oh, I bet this is painted on too, the ripped up one. Oh, I love what they're doing with that. So cool. Yeah, I do have some displays with posters on display behind them. And then this one has some, I think, sun fading or maybe like a liquid got on the top of the box or something. You can see that yellow. It's kind of weird. Anyway, B. And this is from Kmart. I've never set foot in a Kmart. <laughs> uh, look how cute. So here's, wow. This coat. There's a whole collection of coats. Oh my God. But this one doesn't come with a poster. So we're not going to get to see them up close. And look, we have some graphic tees here. What the heck? Ugh. Look at this little suit top. I want to see them up close. Oh, man. Okay. That's okay, though. I'm going to look up pictures later. It's just that it feels like um, the resources that exist for Barbie Fashion Fever dolls, in my experience, I don't know if I just haven't found the good ones, um, are not super good. Like, the pictures are, like, really grainy on some of them, so you have to really, really search to find the pictures of the series. Um, those shirts are amazing. I always wanted to go to a Kmart because they had a bunch of Monster High exclusives when I was collecting Monster High, like when they were coming out. Uh, but I don't know if they even existed where I lived. I lived in Texas, in Houston. Um, and I never, I mean, I was also like 12. So obviously I wasn't the most resourceful person in the world. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I couldn't like drive myself to Kmart if there was one within an hour of where I lived or something. But I've never seen, like, I, I don't think I've ever even like seen a Kmart before. <laughs> and they don't exist anymore, right? They're gone. So anyway. Um... I don't do live streams where I fix the doll room because it's just so much uh, like moving around back and forth. And it's also an extremely long process. Like when you see an hour long doll room update video, that's probably like mm, 15 hours probably of like actual work to make the video. Um, <laughs> it, it, probably less generally, but some of the videos take like a long time. But anyway, like I'm working on one right now and I've already put like 10 hours into it and I think I have like mm, less than 10 minutes of footage. But it's because the the time consuming parts are setting up the displays and I don't 100% film all that. Um, which Fashion Fever doll is your favorite? I don't know yet. I don't like to judge dolls that I don't have as like my favorites or not. And I don't have a whole lot of them. I think honestly my favorite, oh well, let me tell you. The, uh, if you weren't here earlier, I was talking about dolls that I I had some Fashion Fever dolls that I bought, but I bought six from Mercari and only three came. And the seller the seller scammed me, basically. And he was trying to tell me, like, oh, you got a good deal anyway, so you should just take what you got, and blah, blah, blah. It was really stupid. Um, and I had this Drew doll that had a mushroom outfit on, and she was so beautiful, and I was so in love with her. And I was honestly thinking about keeping the dolls and letting the scammer win because I liked that doll so much and I fell in love with her. <laughs> but I sent them back because I wasn't gonna let myself be scammed and Mercari wasn't gonna give me a partial refund. It was all or nothing, which I guess makes sense, but it was just, it sucked a lot. And uh, yeah, so unfortunately, I don't have that doll anymore, but technically I did have her. So I think it counts. That's probably my favorite one. <laughs> um, yeah, it's literally the exact one, except I discovered earlier, look, it's different. It's a little shorter, which is actually really annoying because Barbie dolls are just barely too tall. Like you'll often be up here, which means if you ever pick them up, they pop right off. Um, so that's kind of interesting that like, why did they make it shorter? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, let's continue to free our doll. These are kind of awkward to unbox, huh? Because <laughs> they look so good in the box. And then also the boxes being fully like reusable as in like you can put the dolls back in the boxes for your display and they act as like a dust cover for the doll is so creative and like really, really thoughtful because it doesn't really take extra material to make them this way. It's probably more expensive to make them rounded like that though, uh, but it doesn't take extra material necessarily. They also take up less space on the shelves, which is important for like stores. I feel like stores probably really appreciated that. Yeah, they're just all around like Fashion Fever was really cool. Good idea. And I don't know if the new Fashionistas, like the new Fashionistas Barbie's making, have kind of similar boxes to this. 
Um, not the same. Like, I don't think they definitely don't have stands, you know, but they, they have like tubular boxes. And I wonder if those are reusable at all. Like if you can put them back on the dolls, I mean, intentionally reusable, not like if you're super crafty, you can reuse them. <laughs> um, I'm not going to give them credit for like making something that, oh, somebody figured out how to reuse easily. <laughs> you know, like that's silly. Um, anyway, let's, this part's the part that's difficult to get off as I magically take it off really easily. Okay. Yay. Oh yeah, Color Reveal literally comes with tubes, huh? They are very thick tubes, though. They're not very, like, the ecological footprint is a lot. Okay, now for the best part of the unboxing. Other than getting to hold the doll for the first time. Okay, ready? That made the good sound. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so this is saran hair, see? Not all of them have Kinecolon. <laughs> um, yay. Pretty. Okay, so this one, I don't honestly know if she's like a little bit newer than the others or what i she's definitely from a different year i assume she's like 2007 look at her okay so she definitely like is markedly different so you can see there was like a transition to having more glam makeup which you really see when the 2010s come around so pretty. I really like the thin eyebrows on this one, too. I mean, obviously, I prefer thick eyebrows. I always say that. But, like, these... She looks good. I like this makeup a lot. So pretty. And her hair, it's it's saran box hair, which when you get, like, older dolls new in box and you unbox them, saran, like, tends to look terrible. And this isn't glue seepage, but it, it actually feels like glue seepage because of the gel. Um, they didn't start using glue until a little bit after this. Thank God. Um... <laughs> But you can see, like, this is a very, very hard head of gel, so you can see how thick that is. So when I say gel versus wax, that's what I'm talking about. Styling wax, again, you can really, like, manipulate it, and it's really pleasant to work with. Um, and you can leave it in the doll's hair for as long as you want to, and it stays nice. Um, and gel is just a disaster. It's also kind of dangerous for your doll's hair. Like, what I just did, you probably shouldn't do if they have gel, because this can actually break the fibers. It's just a mess. I hate it. Um... I wish companies would stop using gel. And you can see just how terrible it looks. And I, I can imagine, like, as a kid, if you were to unbox this and you wouldn't be able to play with it immediately and you're expected to do all this upkeep to, like, get it ready to play with because you're supposed to, like, dissolve the gel in warm water and all this stuff, it would just be such a disaster. Um, and her hair feels very, very dry, but it's fine. I have to condition it anyway to get all the gel out. Well, you don't have to condition it, but I would have to wash it, so I'll... Get the gel out and condition her hair. Um, and she has these really cute earrings. I love, love, love her face. And I'm sure some of the earlier dolls had gel too. It just depends. But yeah, I'm just not a fan of box hair with gel. Box hair is what the hair looks like when you unbox it, by the way. So good box hair. You cannot tell it was ever in the box. I guess you have like a light crease here. Um, God, look at that connect one. Ooh, so pretty. And then this doll had saran as well, but... It doesn't have gel, so it's a lot nicer. Anyway, all right, so let's start looking at our dolls. So this line's gimmick appears to be that they have painted on tops. Of course, that's cheaper to produce, but it seems like that was a fully intentional decision. They're supposed to look like skin tight. Um, I don't mind it if it's well or like well worked into the doll. Like Fairytopia mostly has molded on accessories, and I really don't care. I think it's fine. Um, I do think it's kind of weird that the Glitter doesn't continue onto the back, though. That's kind of a negative for me. Um, but it's cute. It's fun. And I think it would be really fun if you got, like, the fashion packs and got to experiment with other, um, like, jackets and stuff. And this jacket is made out of a faux denim material. It almost feels like if you buy patches to fix your jeans, that's what this material feels like. It feels different than the others. And she has little fur cuffs. Torlai is in her British flag outfit, her Union Jack dress, because she is British. <laughs> That's why she's wearing that. Um, and then she has this, like, faux... Uh, is it a fur? Or is it kind of like a velvet? I can't tell. I think it's like a fake crushed velvet. I don't know. Um, I love this, like, asymmetrical thing going on here with, like, the faux pocket. This is so pretty. Oh, God. Hi, Tim! Um, yeah, I, Raven is right now, like, she's with the Fashion Fever dolls. That's where I display her, actually, because I think she looks good there. <laughs> and, um... 
Yeah, her hair is so nice. So, so nice. I desperately wish they made Kaneklon again because Saran can feel decently close to Kaneklon, but it feels almost gummy and Kaneklon feels very dry, which I prefer. Um, but I know a lot of people really don't like Kaneklon because it's kind of hard to manage if it gets messed up, which I get it. Um, love this lace. Look how pretty. So it has these little cutouts of flowers in it, but also it's like painted with flowers on it. So it just has this really cool effect. Almost looks like when people intentionally like tea or coffee stain things. Hi, Katie. And then we have this really nice magenta colored purse. I do think the magenta kind of comes out of nowhere though. Like, right? And okay, so I don't mind the painted on top thing again. It's fine if it's just the gimmick for this line. Obviously I prefer real tops. Like on this doll, it's a real top that's pretty tight. It looks a lot better in my opinion. It's no big deal. Um, but I will say that I don't like the color scheme going on here because I really like the colors of the outfit. They're very like... They're very unusual for a doll, especially. They're kind of this muted, darker color, but then the top is this very, very bright magenta, and even the purse is like a muted magenta, so it's very interesting. Very interesting. And then moving down, oh, the shoes. Okay, so I think what happened, honestly, is that the top was supposed to be this more like mulberry color, but it didn't end up that way. Um, they're cute. I really like the shoes. God, the, the sculpt on these are fantastic. I'm gonna need to find other Barbies that have these shoes because these are awesome. Look how cute. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, this is an unusual time for me uh, live streaming. I don't normally do it this early in the day. <laughs> um, so cute. So that is this one. And now which one do you want me to unbox, guys? One or one? I'm kidding. Um, she's very pretty. I really like her. I do need to, I think I want to find her a top that matches the color scheme here because I, I don't mind the painted on top, like especially on the others that I saw in her collection. Um, it looked really good, but I think this color doesn't match with the rest of the outfit. And I really want to emphasize and like not distract from this really nice skirt, but I really like this one. She's very interesting. I think she's very pretty. And I love that her face is like, it's so perfectly transitioning between the 2000s era, like fashion fever look and the later like fashionistas look from the 2010s. Like you can really, really see that transition going on here. And I'm sure there were dolls from before her that looked kind of like this, but I just, I love that you can kind of make a timeline here. She's so pretty. Her makeup's so cute. I really like her. Alrighty. And our last one is this one who is also Barbara. So we have three Barbaras today. <laughs> um, yeah. And if we do the holiday Barbies too, we're gonna have even more. Um, so this one is a very like, I don't know. The scarf makes me feel like she has like an autumn thing going on and the skirt material too. I don't know. She looks like she's going to work. She looks like maybe like a receptionist or she works in an office. That's what her outfit is to me. Um, and then we have this really cute little tag thing going on. Oh my gosh, both of these dolls. I love those pants. Super cute. Oh, pretty. Love the cardigan on this one. And then, ah, uh, this was the year of that Tokyo collection. People love this collection. You cannot get them for good prices. They're pretty cool. They're not my favorites from Fashion Fever, but they're pretty neat. And then this one. Man, I wish we had a poster for this year because there's some really, really nice looking outfits here. It's kind of funny that she is not included in any of these. They were like, whatever. <laughs> She's just on her like, look, this is the doll. Um, and her face is very, very pretty. It looks like she doesn't have a lot of makeup going on. Okay, wait, we can unbox her. We don't need to look at her through the plastic. All right, so first we're gonna cut the tape and we have to cut that separately, so we'll get there. We will get there. Okay, so you cut this piece first. Her packaging is a bit simpler. Is this one of the earlier ones? I, the Tokyo collection's from 2006 or 2005, I don't remember. All righty, and then we have this, get her out of here. Oh, does she have cute shoes? I haven't seen them yet. Let's see. Woo. Okay. Get the tube aside. Now there's a bunch of fashion fever tubes on my floor. <laughs> okay. What kind of hair do you have? I think it's Saran. Feels like Saran. No? We'll see. I can't tell yet. Hmm. I'll have to see how it flows. Okay. Let's... Yeah, the purse fell off at some point. It dry rotted. It's free now after two decades. <laughs> okay. Cute. So there's a little pink purse with black accessories. Very cute. I love the purses in this line. Um, Kayla made me think they were mostly going to have fabric purses, but no, they don't. They're mostly plastic, but I don't mind a plastic purse. Okay. I love the springtime green color of the stand. That's really cute. Um, we're just going to cut her right off of here because I don't keep them on these little stands, although I will. Like, uh, I'll, I'll separate the stands from the packaging and everything so that 
I can put them in my stand bin. I have a giant bin of stands because most of my collection is on the um, the bootleg fashion paper stands that you see me transitioning the dolls onto uh, after I unbox them. But I keep forgetting that I can just do this. Whoop. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, wait, let me save her. Um, most of my collection, oh, she stayed on her stand. How funny. Well, she was still on her pink stand which I really like that color actually. Um, but I like to move them all onto this stand. It's just the standard one that I use, but I keep the other stands in case there's a doll that doesn't really fit. Yeah, it's really, really weird. Like even for the time that these dolls, I mean, I guess at this time there was like more and more dolls on the market that were coming with stands. Like my scene, a lot of them came with stands. The ones that I had came with stands when I was younger. Um, I mean, if the spring break ones came with stands, I just remember thinking the Mycene stands were like the most god-awful abominations on the market. Like the stands were so awful. Even as a kid, I hated them. Um, but I will say I did have some DC Barbies by Mattel as well. And they used those, the exact same terrible poopy stand. I just hate saddle stands. Always have. They've always annoyed me. Okay. Yeah. It would be great if extra dolls came with stands. Um, I see no reason they shouldn't come with stands, but it's fine. Okay, so let's put this outfit on her. All right, so, oh, <laughs> she's trying to fall over. Her outfit is so, like, she really, like, she works in an office. That's where she works. Yeah, spring break came with stands. I thought so. I had them when I was younger, and I had four stands, so they go to my four spring break dolls, I assume, but I don't know. I don't want to be wrong. Anyway, I think it's Kanekalon, but it has, like, gel or something in it. It feels weird. I do think it's Kanekalon here, though. It's super soft. I do need to cut these, um, these shedding ones. Yeah, Kanekalon sheds really bad, but so does Saran. But this is so dry and fluffy that I think it's Kanekalon. Um, there we go. Looks dolls do come with stands, yeah. Any doll that Barbie calls collector, for the most part, is gonna come with stands. I mean, they... <laughs> They love to impress me in a negative way. Anyway, um, as you can see, her rubber band is also dry rotting. This is why, yeah, very like Elwood's indeed, which makes sense for the time period. Look at that, ugh. Oh, that's a bad dry rot too. It's not even a dry rot, it's like a wet rot. <laughs> Ew, don't coin that term. Don't make that catch on. <laughs> but it's like sticky, not, not cute, not fun. We're gonna have to wash that out. She does have really cute little yellow sunglasses if you ignore the rubber band boogers in her hair. Um, and it's the same sculpt as Kayla's, which is pretty cute. I really like that sculpt. It's really pretty. And she has cute brown eyebrows and she does have makeup on. I didn't think she did, but there's this extremely subtle shine you can see. Super cute. I really like the eyes. I just love the way they did the eyelashes too. You can, you'll notice that the newer one, the eyelashes like feather outward only. And these other ones, the eyelashes are kind of like inner and outer. I kind of prefer when they kind of go the other way too. I think it's very pretty, but just depends. Just depends. And then we have, uh, her top is so cute. Okay, wait, first we have, oh, oh, I keep getting distracted. I love that she has short hair. I mean, it's not like short, short, but that's pretty short for a Barbie. That's pretty cool. You don't really see that very often. And it's cute. Sorry, there's like, oh, it's a little sequin. Where did that come from? Get off, go away. It's been there for a long time and it's not supposed to be there at all. Probably goes to another doll that was made in the factory at the same time as her. That did not go to her. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so the rot is just rubber band, so I just use dish soap and get it out of there. It's not gonna harm her. Um, the only hair that I'm worried about when I wash it is like old polypropylene hair actually disintegrates over time, so you can't really wash it. You just have to get it all off and then re root the doll. I do have a doll that has that problem, unfortunately. It was like one of my wish list dolls too. I'm pretty mad about it. Um, it was like a Japanese doll though. And I'm gonna have to get all the hair off and then reroute her. And it's gonna be a whole thing. So that'll probably be video, but it's gonna be a long time before I have the motivation to do that. Although Barbie sized dolls are so easy to reroute, it takes so little time. Rainbow High dolls take like nine hours. Sorry, there's something on her face. Get off. Okay, I'll have to wash that off later. There's like a weird little, hopefully that's not a scuff. It might be a scuff actually. Um, I love this little scarf. I had the corduroy cool Teresa, the brown haired one. Courtney? I don't remember who that was. Um, when I was younger, and she had a cute little scarf too. I think it went on her head though. And then, yeah, that's why I don't like polypropylene hair. I've been getting a lot of weird comments lately like, you're, you're just a hater. You're just saying the same thing that everyone else does when you say you don't like polypropylene hair. Um, but no, I don't like polypropylene hair because it literally disintegrates over time. Um, uh, 
I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I get a lot of like really weird comments like that. It's like, listen, I promise I think for myself. I have my own opinions. Um, and you know, it's not like they're all going to disintegrate, but yeah, it's pretty likely that they're going dis to disintegrate over time. And with things like dolls, it's like, they should last a long time. Like, your investment shouldn't be, like, maybe a decade worth. It should really last a long time. And I'm not even saying that just as a collector. But dolls like Fashion Fever dolls and stuff, you can find them at the thrift store. Um, and they'll be perfect. They will They will be very nice. So, yes, I don't like how polypropylene feels. And I don't really like styling it either. But it, it just doesn't last is the problem. Like, it's not just that it's cheap or anything. I don't really care about that. Um, it just sucks. Anyway. I love this top. It's really, really cute. Differentiating hair is really hard, and I cannot help you. <laughs> um, I get it wrong all the time. Uh, mainly, it's just from exposure. Like, I can I can spot Kanekalon like that, because it's my favorite. It's very easy. Um, sometimes I'll kind of confuse it with Saran a little bit, because really nice, well-kept like kept Saran will feel a lot like it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, moving on. She has this really cute little ribbon that's being used to, um, like, as a trim the top of her outfit. It's very, very cute. Really like the black ribbon that's running through it and the like simple lace detailing. It's very pretty. I really, really like that it has little sleeves too. Look at that. It's not like a full sleeve shirt. Like I would not call, I don't know what you would call this, but so it'll look goofy if she puts her arms up, but it is a very pretty look. Very, very pretty. I love the little flower too. This is our second one that had a cute little flower on the same side. And I think they're both Barbara too. I mean, I don't know. Blonde girl. <laughs> no idea. And then, yeah, nylon versus poly can be tricky sometimes, but I think people forget that there's, like, 45 different grades of nylon. I'm joking when I say 45. But, like, Rainbow High Nylon is, like, the highest quality nylon on the market, and that's unusual. And most dolls uh, using nylon do not use that nylon, except recently they kind of do. Uh, I love this top. I love the little belly peak, and I also really love the kind of, like, ribbed material it uses there. Very pretty. I mean, the whole thing is ribbed material, but I like the bottom. And then, yeah, cap sleeves. I thought cap sleeves were um, full, like they start here. But I don't know. I don't know anything about fashion. <laughs> uh, the most I know is dolls. <laughs> anyway, love this skirt. It's so pretty. It's got that, like, pinstriped gray suit thing going on and this cute black ribbon with a little bow on the bottom. This is gorgeous. This is really, really pretty. Love this. And then... Sorry, I just want to look at that again. I really love the bow. This is just such a subtle, pretty detail. I love this really cute little skirt. That's why I think she looks like an office worker. It's mainly that. And then, honestly, Dean, I think chewing it would tell you what it is pretty easily, right? Because it's kind of like chewing on sand. You can really tell what it is. <laughs> um, and then we have pink shoes with black details on them. And I love the little socks. Although these socks are probably rip really... Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I was gonna say they would rip really easily at the toe, but no. <laughs> well, they're not gonna rip at the toe, because they are not socks. They are weird leg warmers. I don't mind this, actually. <laughs> I think this is better, because, again, um, this fishnet style of sock rips at the toe really, really bad when you put on tight shoes. I was not expecting that. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is really funny. Um, wow. I love that. <laughs> okay, so she has fishnet leg warmers. All right, so now we have our five new Fashion Fever dolls. There's a sixth, but she had to be escorted out of the building. She needs to be quarantined for a minute. Uh, not that just setting her in the other room is gonna stop mold spores, but she needs to be washed is what I'm actually getting at. All right, we have our dolls. This one. And, oh my gosh, okay, are we still zoomed in? Yeah, we are. Yeah, I was not expecting the faux fishnet, or the fishnet faux socks, that's a good way to put it. Okay, here are our dolls. So, I am so excited about them. We need to go put them on display, but it's like really dark over there. <laughs> um, oh, they're so cute. I guess I'll show putting them on display in the video that I make immediately after this, which is gonna be the next doll room update, which I don't know when that's going up. Uh, this was spring break for me, and unfortunately, I was like, I wasn't sick, but I was just like feeling funky from like traveling and so tired and lethargic, so I didn't get like anything done, uh, and I'm really bummed about it. So I just started getting stuff done like on Thursday, <laughs> which is not great, and today's, is today Saturday? That sucks. I will go back to work. And I work at a school, so I actually get to have spring break, but not anymore. It's over. <laughs> Um, okay. 
look at her. So, yeah, I think this one's my favorite one. I really like her outfit and I really like just everything about her. But I was really shocked by this one because I did not expect her to be, like, really one that I super liked. I mean, I knew I was going to like her, but I didn't expect her to be one that I super, super like. But she's so cute. I also just learned this week is, like, not spring break for most people. I don't know. Um, she's so cute. Yeah, she's the best one. Um, let me go get my other fashion fevers. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go get them. This isn't gonna be my whole collection because some of them aren't, oh crap, they're really high up. Can I reach them? Um, a lot of them aren't on display because they're not like display worthy yet, but there are four currently on display, so I will bring them to you. Oh my god, a shoe just fell. I don't even know whose shoe that was. I don't know why it was here. Oh, and we need to get another doll. Where is the other one? We were going to unbox today. Where did I put her other shoe? Okay. Okay. Also for consideration, I wanted to open these two so I can put them, ah! so I can put them on display because their boxes aren't really perfect and I want them out of box. Okay. Now let me get back to the filming chair. I'm like, I can't really walk around all these fashion fever tubes. Okay. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the floral top white skirt one. And like, same. Okay. <gasps> I'm out of breath. <laughs> oh my God. I wasn't even like doing anything. Okay. Now for the others. So these are the other Fashion Fever dolls that I actually display. So this was the one from that lot of stolen dolls that I managed to rebuy immediately. Um, Cause I managed to find her for a decent price. I feel like she was like $35. It's more than I would normally pay, but I was really upset about them. I was really upset about being scammed, so. I immediately bought her. Anyway, all right. So here are our dolls. We have this one. This is Raquel, I'm pretty sure. And I love her. And then I think this is Teresa or something. I don't know. I don't remember who this is. I, I'm sorry, I just don't. Um, and then this is, this is like Courtney, right? I don't know. Um, her face is, like, kind of, <laughs> um, her face is kind of wonky, unfortunately, and apparently she's a really rare one. Her hair's kind of a mess, because, oh my god, I feel so bad. Right before I moved, I got her, and some, oh god, <laughs> um, I got her, and somebody was asking me to show her hairstyle, so I haven't washed her hair in all this time, um, because of that, because I wanted to be able to show the hairstyle, but, I mean, it's, it's not super complicated, but, I haven't washed her hair out because I want to keep the hairstyle for that person, but I don't know how to find them now. I guess I could go through the old comments, but would they even see if I replied and was like, hey, I can help you now. But anyway, this doll was like really packed away and I couldn't find her. So that, that sucked. Um, I really need to save that doll that just fell. Oop. Okay. Anyway, I think my favorite fashion fever doll, I mean, these are the ones that I've had. So this one I bought from a seller on like Instagram and I got a really good price on her. This one I found at the thrift store. I think she even has her shoe. Yeah, she was like complete, complete. It was really cool to find her. And then this one I also found at the thrift store and she's missing her shoes. I kind of talked about her earlier. Her shoes were one of the like bonus items that were like packaged as like a, you get an extra gift, even though it's just something she comes with. Um, but the person who gave her to the thrift store must have forgotten about them or something. So unfortunately she doesn't have her shoes. <laughs> um, but she has everything else and it's even all tied in place. It's so cool. Um, I really like this one. She's really cool. Um, and I love this one too. I'm really glad I managed to get her back. I need to, I need to try to track down all those dolls <laughs> from that scam because I just want them back so bad. They were so cute. Oh, that is Kayla, but she looks so different. I was going to say, I thought it said Kayla on her packaging, but she doesn't look like Kayla. Um, but I, I know they play around with the looks a little bit, kind of like, um, brats will do. Um, I super like all of these. I especially, this one, this is Kanakalan hair, obviously. This is, like, my favorite. Oh, my God, it's so soft and fluffy. So, like, every time I restore a Kanakalan doll, I try to get it to look exactly like this. Not crimped, but just, like, voluminous like this. And she has, like, a little thing on her face. Get that off. Get that off. Um, and people always comment, like, you did that wrong. <laughs> but isn't it so cute? She looks so cute like that. And then this one has Saran. This is a more recent one. She comes in one of the, like, rectangular boxes. And then, hmm, I think that's Kanakalan with product. And then this is Saran. But see, there's so much 
there's so much saran, saran in this line. Anyway, um, I, st I think my favorites, ugh, I really like this one though. I think my favorites are between these two, but that doesn't mean much because this line's so cool that I like really super like them all. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited that I finally got to unbox this one because I think she's so pretty. And yeah, oh, this one kind of like cheats because she has laced shoes and that is so unusual to have laced shoes in dolls. Um, I know Rainbow High kind of makes it seem like it's not that abnormal, but it really is normal, abnormal um, to have it. And I really like this one's face too. She's a later one though, so her face is a bit different, but I really, really like her. Okay, so let's set all of these in the back and we're gonna open these other two because I really wanna get them on display. And especially this one, the package is just in awful condition. Like, <laughs> um, oh my God, look at this little fashion fever hoard I have now, finally. <laughs> I've been trying for a long time to get more. Um, so this doll I found at like a used bookstore and she was, she was actually kind of expensive, but they were having a sale. So I managed to get her cheap, but she was like $30 and I think I ended up paying like 10. So yay. And isn't this one gorgeous? So she's 2000s. I'm pretty sure like early 2000s is what she looks like. Oh yeah, 2001. So she's probably not actually from 2001. She doesn't really look like it, but maybe. Um, but isn't she cute? So she was at that store for kind of a long time and I kept flip-flopping like, do I want her? I don't know. She's cute, but um, I ended up getting her because <laughs> she's so different from every other doll. Like the maxi dress is so cool and different. So I had to get her. Um, anyway, let's get her out of here. Yeah, I really like Holiday Playline too. Like Holiday dolls are a hit and miss for me. Like I like them, but generally they don't really get a lot of mileage in my collection, but I super like this one. Okay, so let's get her out of here. I'm so excited to free her. She's been stuck in this box for 20 years. Okay, I'm so excited about the maxi dress. I feel like maxi dresses and maxi skirts are so unusual, even at this time when they were decently trendy, I think. And in the 2010s, they came back and were kind of trendy again, but I don't remember seeing a lot of dolls with them, which is a shame. And I, I remember there's some Bratz dolls from when I was younger that had maxi skirts and stuff. Okay, what is this? Because it's taped, so it's going to get ruined. Ah, oh, do you think they'll honor this? Hmm, I'm going to have to call them up. <laughs> um, I know where your headquarters is. I will come. I will, I will come visit your headquarters and I will deal with it my warranty. Okay, anyway, let's undo the twist ties. I have so many twist ties now. I'm going to keep them this time. I don't normally keep them, but since Brett was actively looking for twist ties, I'm like, okay, if that ever happens again, we're going to have them. They're going to be in the toolbox, which doesn't make a lot of sense, I guess, but that's where I would originally, like, I would, it would either be junk drawer or toolbox, and I don't want them in the junk drawer. <laughs> okay, wait, ready, guys? Ugh. Well, it was not satisfying <laughs> at all. <laughs> okay, so now we just have to work all of this out. Oh, there's probably, yeah, one of those little tea ties. Oh, she did come out in 2001? So yeah, that's a thing that I've been noticing is she really looks like a later 2000s Barbie to me. But I've noticed that like quite a few of those later 2000s Barbies, or quite a few of these earlier 2000s Barbies actually just look like that. Like they just use that face for a long time. So it's kind of cool because I feel like the the face that I'm kind of used to for the 20 or the 2000s are just the dolls that I had as a kid. And some of the 90s dolls too have very 2000s faces and obviously the eras mesh together, but interesting. I can't believe she came out in 2001. Um, she just really doesn't look like it to me at all. She's so cute. Also the packaging doesn't really look like 2001 to me. Okay, let's see. I love this maxi dress, it's so cute. So I'm trying not to cut the, okay. So this is our holiday bracelet. Um, oh. A comb. I've found these at thrift stores before. I had no idea it was Barbie. Not my favorite, but honestly, this would be pretty good for detangling. I don't, don't use plastic combs on your dolls, by the way. If you can help it, use metal because plastic against plastic causes a lot of friction and will destroy your doll's hair. Um, might not do it immediately, but it will over time. And then we have this bracelet, which I always hate putting these on. It's really difficult. How do you do it? Oh, there's like a yeah, okay, so now I'm excited for the holidays. Beautiful. Okay, and then, oh my god, she's so cute. I love this dress. So this type of dress will uh, rub over time, so I have to be very careful with her, like not touching her a whole lot. 
because I feel like this material, even I actually just made a video talking about this material. Even if you, well, a similar material to this anyway, even if you don't touch this, it'll actually get damaged over time. And I'm not really sure what the cause of it is, but I have a Jockey Preziosi wing stall. I always butcher pronouncing that. Don't worry about it. A uh, wing stall, the, the Tecna, like magic wings one. And I got her brand new in box from China, like pristine. And I unboxed her because the box was like, it was a bit like, it was creased and stuff. I didn't want to leave her in a creased box. I wanted her out. Um, and the the outfit was already rubbed. Like, what the heck? And she was, like, fully sealed in there. So it was really stupid. Anyway, so. All right. So now, guys, are we excited for the holidays? Sound off. Are we excited? Are we excited? Okay. Wow. What is your hair? I think it's Saran. It looked like Kadeklon, though. I think she has saran hair, which saran is, like, everybody's favorite hair fiber, by the way. Like, it's not a bad thing. I just really, like, oh, my God, look. No, the rotted rubber band. We'll fix it, though. Don't worry. We'll just put a new one on. I love this little cap. I wasn't really paying attention to the cap in the box, but look how cute this thing is. Oh, my God. And her hair is styled so simple but nice. I always love the, like, pulled back behind thing that they do. And the, the bright red lip is awesome. I think mine might be slightly mispainted, but no big deal. No big deal. Hey, Christmas in July is in, like, not that many months. <laughs> kind of a lot, actually. Um, and then she has blue eyes with, again, those pretty eyelashes that go inward and outward, which I really like. And almost no eyeshadow with that very bold lip. It's very pretty. Okay. And then she has... Okay, so this not only is it a maxi dress, but it has sheer sleeves, sheer glittery sleeves with fluff on the wrists and... It's a maxi, like, or I, I think I already said it was a maxi dress, sorry. <laughs> um, but this is awesome. Isn't she so pretty? She's actually in, like, perfect condition, even though she was boxed for so long, which sometimes that's the case. It's really a gamble. Uh, it's just the rubber band that needs to be replaced, so not bad. Not bad. She's so pretty. And then, which hair type do you think is more annoying to pull dry rod rubber bands from? Uh, definitely Kineklon. Oh, my God. It can be so much. Okay, I hate these shoes with this outfit, I have to say. Um, ugh. yeah, so they don't match, and I honestly wouldn't do boots with this either. I would have done, like, strappy shoes. They are cute shoes, but I'm going to replace them with a different shoe. Honestly, how cute would, like, a bright red shoe be to match with the, like, the lipstick? I don't know. They're so pretty. Okay. Yeah, these shoes are not it. Uh, the hip to be square boots. I don't think those are, I mean, maybe they are. Maybe the metallic is um, making me think not. Oh, and she has little earrings. Uh, Art Squad dolls are fine. I think the caricature face, they took a little bit too extreme. So they're not my favorite, but they're cute. Uh, well, I don't know if cute's the word. They're interesting. They're unique. And that's a good thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's this doll. She's a like basic doll. She's not like too much to look at but it's interesting because i don't know what this doll retailed for again um but fashion fever dolls were like 15 like 12 to 15 dollars probably and this doll probably retailed for about the same price All, the quality on this doll is fantastic but she just has less stuff just has less stuff i love this sheer material she has and i don't know i think she's gonna look cool and i actually have like a really cute display for my holiday barbies now which is what inspired me to unbox these two by the way okay now the other doll is under the table because she fell so i need to go get her Okay. Here she is. Oh my god, no! <laughs> no! Didn't Kayla fall earlier when she was in her packaging? Okay. <sighs> I'll be back. Okay. Kayla's back. I saved her. Okay. Sorry. Um, part of why I'm unboxing this doll, by the way, is because she kept falling over. <laughs> um, this doll's box is actually in decently good condition, but I'm not overly worried about... Um, dolls like this in box because like the boxes they're so common um but also the boxes like i don't know it's not in perfect condition this one was also sent to me in my p.o box and i really really like her and i just i really wanted to unbox her i thought she was so beautiful and i've kind of just been staring at her and again look at her like long skirt so cute okay so let's free the doll um and this one's cool because i don't have like any gold themed like specifically dolls in my holiday barbie area yet so this one's gonna be really nice because gold is a very like classic like holiday color okay I'm trying to unbox her without hurting her packaging oh wait 
The packaging has a cute little thing on it. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Their waltz is like a... Okay, I don't know what a waltz is. Is, is that like part of it? <laughs> I know it's a dance. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. Their waltz is like a dream. Gliding across the dance floor. A flowing golden gleam. One, two, three. One, two, three. They move about with grace. There's music in the air and a smile upon her face. One, two, three. One, two, three. Steps from days long past. Romance and beauty make the moment last. Learn more about the waltz with Barbie. Oh, how cute. You can like learn how to waltz. The Viennese style has a quick tempo. The American style waltz is a graceful sliding dance. Johann Strauss Jr., known as the Waltz King of Vienna, shout out to the Waltz King of Vienna, um, composed many waltz melodies in the 1800s that are still popular today, including Blue Danube. Okay. Um, and then Golden Waltz Barbie. I think this is a 90s doll. I, I think someone asked what the year was. I think she's 90s, even though she looks very much like a 2000s one to me. Where is the copyright? Oh, that's cute that they put them on the side. They're not cute necessarily, it's unusual what I meant to say. See how I just default to saying things are cute? 1998. So she came out around that time. Okay. Anyway, let's get her out of here. Let's free the doll. Okay. There we go. I think we need to elect a waltz queen. I mean, a waltz president. The monarchy, we're not doing a waltz monarchy anymore. We're going to make it democratic. We need to elect a waltz president. I will take any suggestions and I will take them very seriously and we will make a ballot. All right, the doll is free. Also, I have like a million more dolls to unbox, by the way, if, if y'all like this. I would love to do this again. Um, oh, don't call her almost 30, Amber. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't do that. I was born in 99. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. let's undo all of the plastic. I'm doing it in like a, usually I cut these from the front, but I feel like when you're watching an unboxing, you're looking for this. You're looking for the little twist ties to be untwisted. This warranty thing is very interesting because I feel like it's implied, but it's cute that they do it. Also valid only in the USA. You cannot have a problem with your product and want a replacement unless you live in the U.S. Suckers. Oh, wait. The warranty isn't implied. I bought a DC Superhero Girls figure the day they came out, and she came, like, really loose. Like, she couldn't even stand... Well, not that they necessarily are supposed to be able to stand up, but you couldn't... She couldn't even hold a pose a little bit because all of her joints were that loose. The entire doll, it was so unusual. The figure is a figure. And I messaged... I emailed Mattel saying, like, hey, like, what the heck? And they basically were like... Sorry, we don't cover warranty replacements on that defect. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> that defect that makes it completely unplaywithable. So, yeah. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> um, so, that sucked. <laughs> so, anyway, the Mattel warranty, I don't know if it still works, but it didn't work whenever the heck DC Super Girls came out. Um, it's a suggestion, exactly. Because they could just decide, like, you know what? I don't like your face. You don't get a word. They know your face over the phone because they have that power. Um, okay. Now, let's free her. Oh, there's more. Gosh, she's, like, really in here. So there's, like, these threads everywhere. Gumby collection video. Um, I can't figure out where I'm going to put them. But, yeah, I do want to do something with my Gumbies, but I don't have as many as you probably think I do. I love Gumby, but I don't really buy, like, every single one that I see because there's so many, like, of the exact same figure, you know? Um, I would buy, like, the ones, like, the cowboy sets and stuff, but overall, most of what I find are the basic ones. And I don't know where I'm going to display them because my coolest item in my collection and my rarest item in my collection, probably one of my rarest items in my entire doll collection other than my prototypes actually, um, is a, like a seven foot tall Gumby plushie that I have. <laughs> and I don't know where to display them because where am I gonna display that thing where I can also have like small things on shelves next to him? I have no idea. Um, it's one of the coolest things I have and it's one of my favorite things that I have in my whole toy collection, but I don't know where I'm gonna put that. <laughs> um, right. Now we need to put her on the stand. Oh, what Barbie line would I want reproductions for? I don't really know, but that's awesome. Um, I think someone's style would be a really good idea. That is a good question. I would have to think about it more because I feel like I don't have enough Barbie knowledge to be able to like fully answer that, you know? Because I love Barbie and I know a lot about them, but I don't know. Also, I'm not the biggest reproduction person. I would rather have all new concepts or a continuation. Like, 
continue fashion fever, like with that similar thing going, how do I get that out? Like what? <laughs> he did actually used to sit next to my couch, sweet screams. <laughs> um, he needs new stuffing though. And I don't even know where to begin with that. Cause I have to like take him apart. It's going to be a whole ordeal. Okay. How do I get this out? What the heck? Mattel? This isn't even like a doll that had a really cool box. So like ugh, I'm ruining her hair. It was so pretty. I need to get this out though. This stupid thing. It's not coming out. It's like, I think there's another twist that, yeah, you have to untwist something, but there's a bunch of hair in the way. Oh no. It is wax, not gel. So I think I'll be able to put it back pretty easily, but oh my gosh, this is a mess. See, usually I do this off camera when something like this emerges, but okay. We're just going to leave that in place. I will do it later, but now her hair is not going to look as perfect. That is so annoying. How did I get into Gumby? Um, my dad had like a little toy of him when I was a kid and it was in our like random toy bin. And we also had like a little DVD that had some of the episodes and I thought it was the coolest thing ever cause I really like uh, claymation stuff. And yeah, just kind of evolved from there. Okay. I don't have any more stands actually. I guess I can use one of the Fashion Fever stands that we just unboxed. So hold on a second. Okay. Oh, Barbie movie right, reproductions would be interesting. It's so annoying though, because Annalise and Erica aren't actually rare at all. Like, especially as somebody who's been thrifting for like 10 years, they're everywhere, right? I I used to see them all the time, but now uh, because there's like a resurgence in nostalgia, people are buying them up and pricing them way higher. So eventually those dolls will be very cheap, but um, yeah. At least the original Monster High dolls were made in like a lesser quantity than most of the other Monster High dolls. So there was kind of a warranted like need for them. Also, Monster High dolls destroy themselves over time really bad because of the glue seepage and stuff. And the original Monster High dolls, like, all had wonky, terrible uh, faces. So, uh, reproduction Monster High dolls were a good call, I think. <laughs> uh, but with most things, I'm like, I don't need a repro. I need, like, more. <laughs> okay, so here is this beautiful doll. They used to be so inexpensive, and I still find them at thrift stores every now and then, too. They're not, they're not rare. Like, I think you'll be able to find them. Um, okay. This doll has such a pretty face. I really liked this one because I thought her hair color was very unusual. Like this dirty blonde or strawberry blonde. What do you even call this? I don't know. Um, but I thought it was really pretty. And oh, look at that dry-rotted rubber band situation there. I love this hairstyle too. I don't know what I'm going to do about that uh, metal. It's not metal. Um, that tie. Oh, ah! The tinsel's coming out. Okay. So good thing she's going to be on a top shelf because you don't want your dolls anywhere or your dolls. You don't want your cats anywhere near tinsel because they'll eat it. And not only is that bad for the doll, but it's bad for the cats. G3 Monster Idol do not have glue seepage. They stopped doing that. Mattel did it from like 2010 to around 2014, I think. So those are the dolls that are going to be affected. Oh, look how sweet. There's a little bead. Very, very cute. This is... How did they even get this on? <laughs> what the heck? There's like no place that it looks like they tied it on. How cool. I love this Maribo. It's actually Maribo um, trim, which is really, really pretty. And then there's also Maribo trim on the sleeves as well. And you might've heard earlier, uh, ah! <laughs> yeah, fashion fever stands are a little bit too wide for Barbie dolls, by the way. I mean, I guess for this older body style. So you can, even though this doll's probably from like 98, I don't know if the box date is right, but you can really see the difference because she has a completely different body. She has the twist waist that like most Barbies from history have, um, but they stopped using this in the 2000s. This is also like really interesting, this like pattern on her top and it doesn't continue onto the back, but like, isn't that weird? It's very different. And okay, so this, it is very queen of hearts. Yeah, it's very interesting. Okay, this is like weird. I don't, listen, like what is this material? <laughs> It's like plasticky, but it looks like fabric and it feels like a lot of other fabrics. It's not a high quality fabric by any means, but why does it sound like that? It's so weird. Um, and look at this. So the skirt is like a tight maxi pencil or whatever you would call this, but then there's this weird like, what is that? It's it's like trains out kind of. I really like it, but I'm tr I'm struggling to describe what it is. I don't know. Um, and then she has these cute little white pumps. They're very simple, but I really like them with this outfit. I think this would look a lot better or not better than this, but I think these shoes would have been a lot better than these boots with this outfit. Look at that dry rotted rubber band. Ugh. Get out of here. Okay. Now. Oh, they put it on before her head was on. Yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. <laughs> Duh. 
I wasn't really thinking about that. I was just thinking like, how would I get that off? Not that I want to. This doll's gonna stay dressed forever unless I need to wash her, which potentially I'm gonna just give all of these guys just a quick wash. I'll, I'll leave the hair alone probably, but they'll all get probably a quick wash. Just because dolls in box generally are stored in garages and that's not good for dolls. Um, very simple purse, cute though. Does it open? It looks like it would, but look, they sewed it shut with that little pearl, which is kind of weird. Give it back to her. When they don't have bendable um, elbows, you just kind of have to like, ooh, you can hold it like that. Yeah, this dress is really, really different. Um, would you be able to waltz in this? I don't know what waltzes look like, but I feel like you probably have to be able to move your legs at all, right? Like you'd have to like, oh my God, I just punched the table. You'd have to move your legs a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but this doll is very, very different. I don't actually think she's holiday themed like I initially thought. I don't think waltzing is exclusive to holidays, but I don't know. I think she'll look good with my holiday dolls, so that's where she's gonna go. Yeah, you definitely, I would think you need legroom. I think waltzes are the one where like the guy or whoever, it doesn't matter who does it, gender rules. Um, but you like, hold on, we'll demonstrate. You go like this. <laughs> You're like, woo, is that, <laughs> is that a waltz? Cause if so, you really need to be able to move your legs. Anyway, <laughs> that is probably gonna be it for this live stream. One, because our phone is dying, so we can't really continue too long. And two, because we're done. We've unboxed all of our dolls for today. And also I brought over other dolls. We didn't unbox that many. <laughs> um, look at them. Okay, I'm very impressed with holiday excitement. I also really like Golden Waltz. I really wasn't expecting the material. I'm like really shell-shocked by the material of her dress. It's so different. Um, right. Trying to put them all where you can see them, kind of. I guess, well, most of these ones I'm showing are not ones we just unboxed, so, like, why are they here? Um, they were cute, though. Okay. They're so cute. Okay, so I'm really excited to add all of these into the display. I'm finally, I've been, like, ignoring the Barbies in my collection for a while now because I just did not know where to begin to get them on display because if you've if you've noticed in the doll room updates, that section of the room, anytime I work on it, I'm always working on the other doll lines, and it's because I've been scared to touch Barbie because I just really don't know how to display them. They're, like, really difficult to display. Um, but I think I figured something out that I like. We'll see. It'll probably change. But um, uh, because I'm actually working on it now, I have this huge backlog of Barbie dolls that I've just been, like, not unboxing. Because I had this thing going on where I wanted box dolls behind all of the unboxed dolls at first. But um, I don't know. None of their boxes are particularly interesting. And the only one that had an interesting box was 2000... Or an interesting enough box to warrant that was the 2004 Holiday Barbie. And I unboxed her. So, <laughs> um, all these guys got to come out of the boxes, get them out, free the dolls, free them all, save them. Um, Summer? Which one's Summer? Oh, okay. It was the one. Um, she had potentially some mold in her back packaging, so she is being quarantined until I can, like, wash her, um, ac like, good, because she needs to be washed. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and for coming to the live stream. I appreciate it. Um, we'll definitely need to do more of these. I always notice like, oh, I haven't done a live stream in like two months. I didn't even realize. <laughs> so my bad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> for all this time, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye. Um, I forgot how to end it on this. Sorry. Okay, I figured it out. Bye. <laughs>